you. It's 75 percent physical and 25 percent mental. The reason we fail is because we got this chatter box in our head. You don't know what? It just tells you you can't do anything. It stops you from pursuing your dreams, your, your careers. It just tells you all the negativity in life that you can't do what you want to do. It takes you out of reality. Yes, you got the promotion, but you question yourself. Can I really do it? You say to yourself, what if I really get the job? Am I able to accomplish what I want to accomplish? You second guess yourself. You bring fear to your knees and you just crumples your dreams away. You got that new job. You got that new goal. But you say to yourself, am I good enough? Do I have the looks? Do I have the personality? How is my accent? Can I bring my game to the table? That's why you're not succeeding in life. And that's why you're not bringing dreams to come true in yourself. There's too much negativity and no positivity that's stopping you from fulfilling your dreams. You go to seminars, you go to workshops, you go to so many types of speeches. But what happens? It goes in one ear and goes out the other. Many of you don't really perceive yourself as a person that can be seen to others. You question your ability. You don't really want to pursue it. You don't get out of your comfort zone. See, the reason you win, the reason you succeed, is when you come out of your comfort zone. After you come to a seminar, after you come to a workshop, then only you will rise and succeed. That is the whole reason why a lot of people see failure happening to them time and time again. That's why they don't come from level one to level 10. This negativity has to go. It's a mental process. Our minds are so sophisticated, stronger than any Intel and Microsoft processor. It can bring miracles. I have seen athletes injured, broken in half, but still were able to accomplish what they want to accomplish. Nothing really stopped them. They made their milestone in mystery, no matter what it was. Coming out of the bed with one leg broken. But they made it. They made it happen. They didn't question anything they were supposed not to do. That's what you have to do in life as well. You don't got to question. You just got to go with it. You know, there's a lot of actors out there. Will Smith, Jamie Foxx, they all started as funny comedians, funny people in the industry. But they wanted to get out of their shell. They wanted to be different. And the only way they could be different and be seen in this real world was they had to develop a personality. You know, they don't want to be set up in a sitcom for life. What do they do? They develop a personality. They develop a serious character. And therefore, they became in movies such as Ray and Pursue Happiness. They got out of their comfort zone. And if you get out of your comfort zone and believe in yourself, and you will be able to achieve those dreams. The reason they succeed is because they had the three P's. That's why right. it's passion, it's pursuit, and it's purpose. Ask yourself before you get into a dream, what is your passion, what is your pursuit, and what is your purpose? Will Smith had a purpose. Jamie Foxx wanted to pursue himself as a serious actor, and that's what he did. And that's what I want to teach each one of you, is even though you got a passion, if you don't pursue it, if you don't got a purpose, you're gonna run out of gas right away. There's no breaks in between that. You're gonna crack in half and you're just gonna melt down. A lot of people, a lot of you have dreams. A lot of you wanna be somewhere, but you know what it is? You question the wrong people. You ask your family and friends to give you support. And once they tell you you're not good enough, they tell you, you know, they don't see you in that zone. What do you do? You say to yourself, if they don't support me, if they don't see myself going that direction, why should I even try to pursue this acting gig? Why should I even pursue this speech gig, journalist, act, activist, whatever? You know what it is? You are your own critic. You are the director. You are the script writer. If it's a flop, whose fault is it? You're the director. Change the script. Rewrite your history and you will make it in the industry. That's the point blank I can say to you. Many of you are still questioning yourself. So I do have this passion, I do have this setback, but how do I proceed in the 21st century? 
Well, for one, you have to actually talk to your inner self. You have to ask yourself, what is it that I see myself? Be more open. Go to community services. Become a volunteer. Be a little bit out of the ordinary. Think out of the box for once. You will find your passion once you go to these volunteering gigs and going to this community service. Maybe you want to be a mentor. Maybe you want to be a leadership. Who knows? Don't think about the money. Money will come and go. What is your true essence in life? And that's how I have found my essence in life. For one, I want to teach others to become better in life. I want to teach them the three P's, which is passion, pursue, and purpose. And that's how you gain success in this industry. How am I basically pursuing my dreams? Well, for one, I have created a website, a blog, on how you can be more interesting and also how you can be more motivating in the 21st century. I've been, I've been good motivational videos, I'm writing blogs, and I'm going to speeches such as this to show myself. So I'm being really out there and I'm taking it to where I want to be. You want to create an image and leave a legacy behind. Now before I leave today, I want you to remember these three phrases. I can, I must, and I will. Thank you so much for your times, and have a great day.